This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Make your purchases through my personal link in the description to help out the channel. Furthermore, if you want to support me more directly, you can check out my YouTube channel membership for fun emojis and sneak peeks, or my Patreon. Links in the description. Okay, so videos have been a bit slow recently, and I very much apologize for that. So, uh, I figured just to break the silence, I would make a little video about Red Skull here. So, um, this is my custom Red Skull, and this is the uh, Shrunk Down Hot Toys headcast that I painted up in another video. And, um... I really, really enjoy this head sculpt. I think it looks fantastic. I didn't really like the default MCU um, red skull that came out. However, I've never, ever been a fan of this body. It's just a bit... I mean, I think he wears this during the final battle, but it's not nearly as cool as that big black trench coat he wears earlier on in the movie. And um, so, as luck would have it, the What If figure actually sports this trench coat. And I also think this is actually reused. I think there was like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version of Red Skull in this outfit. And um, it was just the other head on this body. And it came with, I think it came with like a huge blue life-size Tesseract prop. But uh, I honestly don't really care about that at all. And I assume it was like over a hundred bucks. So yeah, I don't care about it. However, this is based on the What If show, and um, What If is an animated show, and as you can tell, this head is quite cartoony looking. The nose is pretty small and high up. The mouth is really far down, like this bit here. Like, this gap here is massive between the mouth and the nose. I think if the nose was moved down and the mouth moved slightly up, it would look pretty great, but the face printing is really good though. Like, look how clean these eyes are. I'm, a, I'm such a huge sucker for face printing but um yeah i uh, figured i would just do a quick little head swap let me take this head and we i can already tell the skin tones aren't matching at all but already wow this looks so much better so um yeah we're just gonna quickly paint up the neck and then um we'll see so before we do anything i want the paint to actually be able to stick to this um piece here and uh, this is really, really smooth, so the paint has like nothing to grip onto. So we're likely gonna sand this bit. We'll just use some kind of fine grit sandpaper. And you can see here how it like brightens up. And that means that all the like oils on the figure and stuff are gone. Okay, so everything is gritted up a little bit, and now we're just gonna use some Vallejo Black and some Vallejo Red mixed together. And we'll just put this on like so. And here is the swap complete, and I think this just elevates the figure to a completely new level. This body is perfect, this head looks fantastic on the body, and uh, just for like comparison here's the original um well the original body i used with uh, the what if head and uh, you can kind of just see the difference in detail it's pretty much night and day so um yeah i just wanted to make a little short little video about this guy because i really really love how this guy turned out so um i'm also waiting on a big big bad toy store pile of loot order to come to completion so i will have like a big army of figures by then to um, like dink around with but for now this is red skull and um, i love him so <laughs> thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed if they cut off one head two more shall take its place Hey, Lydra.